nine and year nine parents. Um, I'm really excited to introduce the fine art course to you. Um, just as a bit of extra information, so we have um, four different art and design and design technology specialisms. They are fine arts, photography, textiles and 3D design. Um, they are, all of them are the same qualification, so I don't want you to pick two of them. You can, however, pick food and nutrition as an additional creative subject. I really, really, really want to encourage all of you to do something creative because I think it's so important um, in any, any, any industry that you go into. Being creative is something that any job will look for. So, um, fine art. What is fine art? So, for me, fine art is really about observing the world around you, um, being experimental with everything that you see, um, being interested in finding out about things and looking at things in a different way than you normally would and, and to really kind of strengthen your skills and techniques um, to build an amazing portfolio of work. Um, it's a real opportunity to produce something that you're really proud of, to take away with you in the years to come, hopefully go off and do something creative for A-level and, um, and university or any further education. It's a really lovely document to have, to have a portfolio of work that you can really show, show off your passions and show off your skills. Um, so how the course works is you will start um, component one in September. Component one will be a little bit of me leading it. So you'll go through some similar skills that you've done at Key Stage 3, but you'll be kind of mastering those skills and building on the techniques that you've learned already, going away, finding your own points of interest to develop them further. Um, though, what we want to do during the course is to get you to lead it as much as possible. So we, there will be a point where you've done all the skills that you need to and you'll start to develop your project in your own way. And that happens throughout the um, year 10 and year 11. So it's really, really exciting. Um, really what it is is we want you to lead the project. Okay? I would rather you come to me and say, um, Mrs O'Sullivan, I've found this artist. Um, how am I going to do it? It's really cool. How am I going to do it? And that's really what it's about. It's about you um, sort of carving that path of your own journey throughout the course and producing work that you're really, really proud of. So that's what the opportunity there is. The second component um, which you will do is the controlled assessment. So the controlled assessment is an exam which lasts 10 hours and there's five hours over two days. And really, it's just the best two days because you're just producing work that um, you're producing a final piece that you can show off. Um, and what we're looking forward to do in 2022 is to have a big exhibition of all of your work. So you've got all of these amazing things to look forward to. Um, why should you take fine arts? Um, because you like drawing, you like painting, you like producing artwork. Okay. Um, if you don't, and you don't like doing that in your free time, then I would suggest you consider the other three options, so textiles, 3D design or um, photography. Um, because actually it is a, a lot about drawing and a lot about painting and a lot about exploring those more realistic side of things. So uh, if you don't like drawing, pick something else. Um, really, if you have any questions, then please just come and talk to me. Um, you can have a look at you know, all the jobs that, that, that this can go into. Um, really, it's so it's there's so many options so please 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 if you like art and you like drawing then pick fine art thank you